Hi everyone, my name is Junko. Today I'd like to show you some different brushes. There are so many different brushes around and many people ask me which brush to choose to start Sumie and Japanese calligraphy. So uh, I hope this video will help you choose right brush for you. Let's have a look. There are so many different brushes in size, hair and quality. They are commonly made of animal hair. Horse, goat, weasel, raccoon, cat, fox and wolf. Larger brushes are most likely made of horse hair. And common size brushes here. White hair brushes are usually made of goat hair and are soft. And the brown hair brushes are usually harder and made from weasel, horse or raccoon. Harder hair has a nice spring so it's much easier for beginners to use and control these brown hair brushes. Let's start with two different size brushes. First, one has around 4 cm hair length and the second one is a finer brush for painting details and fine calligraphy. With most brushes, the inner hair is harder to give the brush nice spring and the outer hair is softer so the brush can hold plenty of water. To check the quality of a brush, I usually wet the brush to see if it forms a pointy tip. I have here a good quality brush and poor quality brush to show you the differences. The hair of the good quality brush is finer, whereas the hair of the poor quality brush is rough and the cut is not as delicate and the good quality brush has a high hair density so the brush can hold a lot of ink let's wet the brushes and have a look at the differences i just wet the good quality brush you can see it makes a sharp tip. I'll make some lines. The end of the line is quite sharp. And this brush holds a lot of ink. Please remember how little this good quality brush bends after making few lines so we can compare to the poor quality brush shown next. Now I just wet the poor quality brush. It doesn't make a sharp tip. Let's paint some lines. The end of the line is not as sharp as the good quality brush and this brush bends much more compared to the good quality brush. That shows the poor quality brush does not have much spring. The good quality brush can make delicate lines. It's easy to control the rhythm in a line. And 
and ink lasts longer because of the high hair density. video helped you choose right brushes for you to start Japanese ink art. Happy painting!